Hi everyone and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo Tutorials. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for these lessons. Sorry if you hear music in the background. I'm, it's been a while since I did a tutorial so I'm feeling out of practice and I'm a little nervous so I need the music to kind of get me back into the swing of things. Um, so yeah, this tutorial is dedicated to our furry friends or scaly friends. I'm not sure what you call lizards. Scalies, right? Anyway, um, so we have an issue that furry people seem to be having with rigged mesh hair. And I notice it too whenever I do my furry modeling. Uh, whenever you put on rigged mesh hair, you either run into a series of problems like uh, the hair doesn't quite fit on your head no matter what sliders you use and you can't edit it and stuff like that. And then the worst, um, when you go to blink, your hair blinks along with your <laughs> So you have constantly blinking hair, uh, or if you go to talk or type, your jaw is moving and your hair is moving as well. Uh, so this problem is so bad that it forces a lot of furry people to either wear rigged, uh, unrigged hair or use old sculpty hair. And now, there's nothing wrong with doing either or, it's just I feel like um, since there's so big of a market of sculpt, I mean, of rigged hair that, you know, this will probably open up doors for people who, uh, like, oh, I've got, I love this hair, but it does, it's not rigged, it's rigged mesh, so I can't wear it. <laughs> Maybe I've been watching too much Rick and Morty, I've picked up Rick's manner of talking. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to talk about those three problems, um, not fitting, non-fitting hair, uh, blinking hair, and tuck jaw hair, and we're going to fix those so you guys can wear this hair. Uh, that you like, wear the hair that you like, and not be limited to just uh, a certain type of hair. Um, so, in order to do this, you're going to definitely need to download a copy of Darkstorm. Now, that might be scary, but there is no other way to do this um, besides pleading to the creator, and you know how that goes. We don't do customs, or we don't make hair for furries, or something like that. So, suck it up. Put on your big boy or girl pants and uh, download a copy of Darkstorm. It's in the description, um, so you know you're getting the right one. Um, no, it's not for Mac. It's only for Windows. I'm sorry. There's no way around it. Nobody made a Mac uh, viewer as far as I know. Whew, okay, what else do you need? You need a copy of Mesh's SL. That's also in the uh, description. Please do not contact me telling me that your virus thing went off. Yes, it may send off your virus thing. That's because of the way the program was encoded, um, encrypted. It uses that, I uh, forgot what it's called, but it used an encryption that was known for where, um, like, key gen encryptors and something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure how they explained it to me, but if it bothers you, that much you can download a copy of sandboxy and run all this into a sandbox so you don't have to worry about it although i've been using this for more than three years and nothing has exploded on my computer everything still is fine um but remember like i said before whenever you use copy bots always use our alt account because even though nothing has happened i would prefer to be safe than sorry because you know you never know um, now once we have that out of the way, the, the dangerous stuff, <laughs> the explosive chemicals, uh, we go to this vanilla stuff and that is, you'll need a copy of Avastar, uh, Sparkles Preferred. Yeah, you're definitely going to need Sparkles for some here. So Avastar, Sparkles, and Blender because you can't do any of this without Blender. Oh, and you'll also need, whew, sorry, a piece of hair flew off of the fan and on me. It felt like it was a bug on me. <laughs> you're also going to need a, a dev kit for the body that you're using. Since we're using the snaggle for this, I will just include the snaggle kit, but you can use any dev kit that you want for this. The, the method is pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, that's all the things that you'll need for this tutorial. Once you grab those, come back and we'll go on to the next part where we'll start attacking um, the problematic hair.